Hello and welcome everyone. This is the slides, the presentation on Emmett Till, who was a victim of racial violence. And we are here to learn about his story and how it changed America. Starting with the early life of Emmett Till, he was born July 25th, 1941. He was the only child of Lewis and Mammy Till. He never knew his father who died in World War II and Emmett Till attended an all black McCosh Elementary School. He grew up in a middle-class neighborhood on Chicago's South Side uh, where black owned establishments thrived and his family and peers described him as lighthearted and funny. Um, the day at the liquor store on August 24th, 1950, 1995, Emmett Till and his cousins went to Brian's Grocery for refreshments after a long day of working in the fields in the hot sun. They went to the store one, one or two at a time, buying soda pop and bubble gum. Emmett Till bought two cents worth of bubble gum and then was accused of catcalling a white woman named Carolyn. The boys waiting outside believed she went to get her pistol, so they quickly fled from the area. The exact night there, Emmett Till faced allegations of calling a white woman named Carolyn an act that ignited anger within her husband. Consumed by fury, the husband, accompanied by his half-brother, J.W. Millam, sought out Till's great-uncle, Mose Wright, during their morning, during the morning of August 28th, they then abducted Emmett Till and ushered him into their vehicle. At night, his assailants, the white woman's husband and his brother, forced Emmett to carry a 75-pound cotton, cotton gin fan as they went to the banks of the Tallahatchie River. There, they told him to address and subjected him to a series of brutal acts. This included severe beatings, blinding one of his eyes, shooting him fatal in the head, and disposing his body in the river. Three days later, Emmett's disfigured corpse was retrieved, its identification only made possible through an initial rain. The two men that night who attacked Emmett Till were Roy Bryant, who was a 24-year-old white man, man who was married to Carolyn Bryant at the time of his death. Upon hearing from his wife that Emmett Till spoke to her in the liquor store, he became enraged and, with the help of his brother-in-law, who was Carolyn's brother, J.W. Millam. After Till's body was found, the two men were arrested on August 29, 1955. At their trial, they stood in front of an all-white, all-male jury who reached a conclusion of not guilty within one hour. They were released that day and cleared of all charges, despite pleading guilty. The NAACP gathered African-American communities around the country using Emmett Till's death as a rallying call to rise against the injustice that they faced. Some following examples include Rosa Parks, who was quoted, who was quoted in remembering Emmett Till while protesting on the bus. The big six of the NAACP worked with Emmett Till in mind, especially Martin Luther King Jr., who recalled him in his speech while speaking, especially on the Lincoln Memorial. People boycotted the Bryant Grocery in retaliation, driving the store out of business. And then finally, children read about the legal system's unfair acquittal of Roy Bryant and J.W. Millam, inspiring a generation of activists who would change the history of the United States. Emmett Till's death became a catalyst that began the African the African-American civil rights movement and catapulted it to its current standing today, influencing the big six, as said before. How the information spread. On August 31st, 1955, Emmett Till's corpse was dis discovered in the river. His face was unrecognizable due to the assault. The only thing that left his body distinguishable was the monogram ring that he was wearing that was given to him by his father. His mother, Mamie Till, kept her son's casket open to reveal to tens of thousands of people the brutality he had suffered. 
So this is the media coverage. <clears throat> Bryant and Milam were let go after being judged by an all-white and all-male jury. They would later sell their story for about far four thousand dollars to Look Magazine and bragging about the murder as a revenge story of protecting white womanhood. At the age of eighty-two, Bryant confessed to lying about the entire event. After the event, many more African American rights activists moved in the wake of Emmett Till, such as Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. Emmett Till's tragic murder in 1955 had a profound impact on the civil rights movement in the United States. His brutal killing at just 14 years old sparked outrage and became a pivotal moment in the fight against racial and sexual mm -hmm. The open casket funeral and widespread media coverage brought national attention to the violence and discrimination faced by African Americans. It brought more visibility to the deep-rooted racism and discrimination um, prevalent in the South and contributed to the push for legislative changes and social reforms. The impact of Emmett Till's case extended beyond 1950s. His legacy continues to inspire and remind people of the importance of standing up to racial violence and discrimination, striving for equality, and advocating for social justice. His story serves as a point and reminder of the ongoing struggle for civil rights and a need for continuous efforts to create a more just and inclusive society. And that was our presentation. Thank you very much for listening.